Lovegood family. Today I'm doing a HD reshoot of my most popular video. It's making sodium silicate. The reason I'm doing a HD reshoot is when I first did that sodium silicate video, I had no real knowledge on camera work, I had no real knowledge on video editing software, and my camera was virtually a wind-up one. Uh, it was terrible quality. Although all the information was correct, I have come up with some better ways of doing certain bits of it. So I'll talk you through it and um, I'll tell you that my new things and new tips and tricks that I've come up with. Let's get on. Okay, so the reason I first wanted to make um, sodium silicate was because I was making a rocket stove. And I'd been online and the cheapest I found was £10 for about a litre. And I thought that was incredibly expensive for something which I knew was made from just two ingredients which were readily available. So I did some research and found it was like one of the easiest things I could ever imagine to make. You know, I've made some really tough things to make in the past. This was dead simple. It needed, as I say, two ingredients. First ingredient was this stuff, caustic soda. Um, this is actually sodium hydroxide in here. It's known as caustic soda, lye, and various other names. Um, it does come in packets of just sodium hydroxide, but they are all the same thing. If you go to get, um, have a look for a drain cleaner, have a look on the ingredients, and as long as it's the, the main ingredient, is, well, the ingredient is sodium hydroxide. Done a lot of research into different ones um, of these, and there was a few that only had about 5% sodium hydroxide, which won't work, it's not enough. So, caustic soda, I bought six of these for six pounds it was, and I've got these left over from the last experiments I did where I made, I must have made about nine, ten litres of the stuff. And then the next ingredient, silica gel. Exactly the same stuff you get in those little silica packets in new shoes, handbags, that kind of thing. Um, this stuff I bought as cat litter. Um, as long as on it it says 100% silica gel or 100% silica gel crystals, then you're okay. This stuff, as you'll see, has got little blue bits in. They indicate crystals, and what they do is they go pink when they get urine and stuff on them. Um, it's to indicate which bits you need to take out of your cat litter. Them being in there, the only thing that will, they will cause is your sodium, um, sodium silicate will go a slight pink colour. It's not a problem at all. It doesn't change the actual composition or how it works at all. So, as I say, these are the only two um, ingredients you need. Let's measure them out, shall we? Making sodium silicate is so simple. The hardest thing is remembering the quantities, and that's not hard at all. Sodium hydroxide, 200 grams. Silica gel, 300 grams. And 500 milliliters of water. That's it. Okay, so I've measured out all my ingredients. I've doubled up on everything, so I want to make double the mixture, and it's as simple as just doubling the, uh, the amounts. I put my water into the pan. I've got my sodium, sodium hydroxide to go into the water, not the other way around. Never put your sodium hydroxide in and then add water to it. It will just solidify, it will go solid as a rock, and then it's just a nightmare. It will still break down, but then you have to smash it to pieces and so on, and it's just a pain in the bum. Also, when adding sodium hydroxide to water, it is an exothermic reaction. Add it slowly, and it will start to boil anyway. If you add it fast, it will boil over, and you don't want that. The same with adding your silica gel crystals. You don't want to add them all at the same time. They will just bubble over, and you'll just have a big mess on your hands. Now, I'm taking this outside because I don't want to breathe in any of the nasties from this. I'm not entirely sure what the fumes are, but whenever I'm not sure, I take it outside. So, I'm going to fire up the rocket stove, and I'm going to get on with it. One more thing. The water, in all, of, um, in all of the recipes I ever read, they said use distilled water. Now I couldn't get my hands on any distilled water, so I tried tap water, and there was no difference at all. Um, I actually found it was the same concentration, everything. So I'm going to go outside, and we'll start this up. I'm back to where I was yesterday. I, I know you don't know this, but it absolutely poured down the second I put the saucepan on. So I'm about to add in the um, sodium hydroxide which will get the pan up to boiling temperature and we can continue from there. Now like I said before, add it slowly because it will start to boil.
can already see the smoke coming off it. The steam, I mean. Come in here. One thing about sodium hydroxide is when it's it, it's all um, dissolved in, it actually does go see through. You know, it goes the water goes translucent again, opposed to cloudy. That's pretty much dissolved now. So we slowly start adding the silica gel. If you add it too quickly, it'll just boil over. Can you see that? You'll start a pit, you'll see a pink up here because of the blue crystals in this. Right, this is too hot now, so I'm going to get it off the heat. Okay, I, the reason I say it was too hot was it would have just boiled over easily. It still will, even though it's off the heat, so just beware of that. Can you see? Then, yeah, it's boiling. Now the liquid is getting thicker, it's like getting stiffer, it's feeding more like a honey, like a very liquefied honey at the moment, but it's getting a lot thicker to mix. Back 
over to the hob now. I've brought it back onto the heat because some of it's not dissolving now. So we want to just bring up the temperature again. It does get to a point where nothing else will dissolve. But it shouldn't be right now. There should be a lot more that will dissolve, hopefully. The more of this we get to dissolve, the thicker it will be, the higher the concentration. Add a bit, get the temperature back up. Now there is no way to hurry this point. Whoa, okay. I've done that before. I, I got it off just before it overflowed, look. So, let's bring it back over here. Now the idea here is just literally to get as much of it to dissolve as you possibly can. What I'm going to keep doing is I'm going to keep going back to the heat source, the rocket stove, and I'm going to keep getting it to just melt a little bit more. But it will get to a point where no more will dissolve in there. I had hoped to get a bit more in, but we'll see. It's basically, it goes into like a, um, a sticky mass, a sticky ball of stuff. The thing is, you can then, um, once you can't get any more to dissolve in it, you can sieve all of this out, and then you can just add it to your next batch. And you it can will just, reuse it? Huh? You can reuse it? Yeah. So this is just it's where it's melted together. don't want this to boil over, which it keeps trying to do. What would happen if it did boil over? It would go everywhere. But no fire hazard or anything? No, it's not flammable. It's in fact, it's the opposite of that. That's why you use it as, a, um, as an adhesive for high temperatures. think I'm not going to get any more to dissolve in there. Now if you can keep get on your eye on this drip here, the way to test that you've got a good sodium silicate water glass, take your device up and you'll see that the drips catch on. Can you see that? the drips catch on the end of the spoon or whatever device you're using to mix that means you've got a good consistency of it because what's happening is it's reacting with the carbon dioxide in the in the air okay let's bring it over to here okay so we didn't actually we weren't able to mix any of that, that the thing is when you do double up the mixture there is always some leftover of the um, of the uh, silica gel, I haven't worked out the consistencies of doubling up, but there's always there's always enough, which is my motto. That's fine. Okay, now what we're going to do? Going to tip this out through the sieve. As you see, quite a lot of it has 
dissolved. And you'll see that the saucepan, if you see all the drips just hanging there, that's how thick our sodium silicate is. extremely high concentration. Okay, so that is our sodium silicate and it is super high uh, concentration. If you can zoom in a sec, you'll notice that it's already getting a layer where it's reacting. So one thing before we store it, you need to dilute it. So I'm gonna put in about the same amount of water again as sodium silicate. Give it a mix. Now this is at its usable concentration now. Okay. So once you've given that a mix, all you need to do is put it into another container. Let's see the temperature of it now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for that to cool down and then I'm just gonna put it into another container. Okay, I'll put it in milk bottles when, I, um, when I'm finished. I write on the side, it's um, sodium silicate, whatever it is, and then I store it out of the way of the children, okay? It, I didn't put that in my last video and I got a lot of people saying, oh, you gotta write on your things. I, I assumed that was, people understood that. I assumed that went without saying, but always write on the whatever container, do not drink and what it is, you know, and then keep it away from children. So I'll be back with you once I've um, funneled this into here, once it's cooled down enough. <sighs> okay, so we've got just over three pints of sodium silicate. It's super high concentrations. I actually added a little bit more water to it just to water it down a little bit more. Um, if you don't add water to it, it will solidify in the bottle. Even if you filled it right to the top, it will solidify overnight. There'll always be a slight bit um, of carbon dioxide getting in and it just turn into like um, a jelly of sorts like a really thick jelly you can reconstitute it but it takes a lot of you know a lot of faffing about so try and um, water it down there we go I hope that was um, answered the questions I had in the comments on my last video and I hope that was a little bit clearer like physically as in HD um, any questions though if I've missed anything out Please leave it in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.